dentist appointment recently, or an NHS dentist appointment to be more precise. New data says that more than a million new dental patients tried and failed to get access to routine NHS services. Now, a survey by the British Dental Association points towards the ongoing lack of staff as an issue. Well, let's ch uh, talk to the chair of the General Dental Practice Committee at the BDA, Henrik Overgaard nielsen who's in central London for us this morning. Good to see you. Uh, so what is happening with the state of NHS dentistry in this country? Well, there's a huge crisis going on. Uh, not only are there a million people that cannot find an NHS dentist, but we also know that over 60 per cent of dentists the NHS. It's a huge, huge crisis. And we have told ministers that this is happening on and on and on, and they are not interested. I mean, I know that plenty of people go looking for an NHS dentist and more practices than not, so they're, they're just services that they do not provide. I mean, are we just heading towards a private system? Well, that might be what the government want. Uh, the problem we are facing is that the million people that are not able to find an NHS dentist, a lot of them are actually in pain. Uh, they've got toothache. And the problem we are facing is I have repeatedly, uh, on behalf of the profession, asked to meet uh, the Minister for Dentistry to discuss exactly this. And he has told me, or his uh, civil servants have told me over and over again, that he hasn't got time to meet me. He hasn't got time to deal with the million people that cannot find an NHS dentist. He hasn't got time to deal with the people that are, have got toothache. I bet you, if he was the one with the toothache, he would find the time. I mean, are we talking then about people you'd, uh, because of things like toothache? So it's not, we're not talking about people here who are trying to just get a checkup. We're talking about people who have, you know, perhaps not regular attendees at the dentist. Most of the people, uh, of the million people we are, we are looking at, are not regular attendees. Some of them probably would want just a checkup and haven't got toothache, but a large proportion of them are in pain. So how do we address that? Because clearly it's, it's, it's not just about meeting the needs as, as they have them. It is about getting people into a, a more rounded uh, dentistry programme. Absolutely. Well, there are several problems. One is that the government at the moment is only funding NHS dental care for about half the population. But the second problem is that we haven't got, in NHS dentistry, we haven't got enough time to spend with the patients. The government really needs to give the dentist more time and give us less tick box and targets to deal with. That's the problem in NHS dentistry, and that's the reason why dentists... Sorry, how does that work, though? Because if you go to a private dentist, as, as a, a, a lot of people do, where clearly the prices are a, a bit higher, um, you, get as much, you get as much time as, as you need, don't you? So why, why are dentists, when treating NHS patients, not having enough time? It's simply a question of how much uh, they are paid to do it. They cannot... We, we, we've seen in the NHS dentistry, we've seen a 35% reduction in pay over the past five years. The government is spending less and less money on NHS dentistry. Five years ago, they spent around £42 per patient. Now they're spending £36 per patient. Government is spending less and less. Patients are paying more and more. And the system as such are in severe crisis. We are seeing uh, contracts and dentists stop working in the NHS all over the country. You cannot recruit a dentist to do NHS dentistry in vast parts of this country at the moment. But is part of the problem then, because you talk about not, how, not getting enough money to, you know, to, to provide enough time to the patient, is part of the problem that dentists look at the system and say, well, I can earn so much if I work for the NHS, or personally, I will make a whole load more cash if I can just go private. So is it down to dentists not having some at least, not having quite the right ethos? No, the problem... What we see from our data very clearly is that when dentists stop working uh, for the NHS and go private, they're not making any more money. What they are doing is spending more time with their patients. That's the difference. They have less tick box and targets, and they spend more time with their patients. And that's actually what we need to do with NHS dentistry. It's a question of time. It's a question of giving patients the right amount of time. And it's a question of dentists not being stressed. There's a huge amount of stress and burnout in the profession. And the one thing we see clearly from the data is the more NHS work you do, the more stressed you are. OK. Henrik, good to talk to you this